Have you been thinking about doing permanent makeup, but you're a tad bit afraid of what that means? Well, no worries, because the master is in the house, or shall, shall I say, in our makeup room this morning. Sally Hayes, she is hard at work right now. This is Ashley Smith, one of her patients, and you are doing brows as we speak. How long have you been doing this, Sally? Uh, 32 years. Actually, in September. Wow, congratulations. Thank 32 you. years. You truly are the master. You're the expert when it comes to permanent makeup. What does that mean when someone says, okay, I'm going to go get permanent makeup? Well, it's putting color under your skin so you don't actually have to apply makeup, but you want to be careful that you do it so you don't look like you have tattoos on your face. Absolutely. We've seen the uh-ohs so that you right. have brought yeah, in. No Ashley has beautiful brows, right. and you've already done this side. Describe what we're seeing. You know what? We did her brows on September 12th, and this is actually the retouch. So what happens is when you do your brow, it's going to look like this, and the healed process will look like this. So usually you don't get to see this on camera. You just right. see the after. So a week from now, this eyebrow will look like this eyebrow. Turn just a tad bit this way. So she so, was having some fading there on the tail? Yeah. Well, she, her eyebrows had gotten weak on the tail, So, but you can't tattoo just one area. You have to do the whole eyebrow. So when you pull her skin back, you can see how the color is blushed through the eyebrow. Uh -huh. So now I'm going to do the second application. Okay. But what happens is they look dark when you do them, like this. And then they fade and they look soft. So we'll tattoo this eyebrow and then one week from now, she will have a second layer that will be soft. All right, so everyone needs to see at home. It's gonna be dark like this when you walk out of Sally's um, office, but it won't stay that no, way. It's it going to lighten. A, it goes through a healing process. You look fine. You look like this for about four days and then they start to crackle. They get a little scaly okay. and you absolutely can't pick them. So if you like magnifying mirrors, you need to step away. <laughs> Get out of there. And thank you for telling yeah. us what to expect. Yeah. Get out Ashley, of the did you Don't find look. that it was it was an easy process for you? Oh, it was super easy. Yeah. I did it out of you know out of convenience to save me time in the morning, and now I'm just and I've done her my eyeliner. eyeliner done. So yeah, I'm so she, she's one of those. She went in for one thing and left with everything. <laughs> yeah, now we're gonna do the left. <laughs> yes, and you know that's next, right? You're not gonna get away with it. And Ashley's a busy mom. You've got a little one at home. Mm -hmm. Who has time, right? Right. To be sitting in the mirror. How much time have you saved? Do you think? Oh, probably a good 10, 15 minutes every wow. morning. Mm -hmm. So you did her. You did her liner first. How often do we need to retouch, Sally? Well, eyeliner you can go. 8, 10 years easily. Wow. But eyebrows, I don't put any black in them, so that's the weakest color. Mm -hmm. So usually eyebrows you touch up every one to three years, depending on the color you used. If you're blonde, you'll do it before. If you're a brunette, you can go longer. And it doesn't matter, matter your ethnicity. You nope. do all types. Nope. All types of skin types. What makes you the best? Well, I think I'm conservative. You know, I don't do uh, fashion makeup, so I won't lock you into a look that'll go out of style. Right now, big eyebrows are in style, and yes, I just tell are. people don't do that because when they go out, you're stuck. And the um, good thing is we can enhance it. So if Ashley is going out on the town, she, she can make it add, a little darker. Sure, she could add, she, you could make yourself have larger eyebrows by painting them on with pencil, but you don't want to put something on your face that you're not going to be able to wash off. Right. So stick to your own shape of your face, and then you know, you're going to complement your features, not take away. And she looks so natural, right. and that's so important to you, I know. Yes. Ashley doesn't wear a lot of makeup typically. She's just a right. natural beauty. Right. And this is just only making it better. All right, I'm you all look about perfect. Yeah. All right, we're going to let him get back to work because she doesn't okay. want to go out with just one of her eyebrows done. You look beautiful. Let's give you a special offer this morning to book a free consultation with Sally Hayes. All you have to do is give her a call. She is located at 10201 North Scottsdale Road in Scottsdale. She's right there on the corner of Gold Dust and Scottsdale Road, 480-951-0539. You can also visit her website, permanentmakeup.com. If you book your brows, your eyes, and your lips right now, you're going to save $200.